first I am starting with my favorite primer, which is the Benefit Professional. I just feel like it does the best job at taking away my massive pores. Then I'm going in with my Full Coverage Foundation from Revlon. This is in the shade Buff. And I'm using the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge to apply it. This has been the only thing I've been using to apply my foundation for the past couple of months. I just love it. And then I'm just getting rid of the foundation on my lips because I hate foundation on my lips. Going in with the CoverGirl and Olay Concealer and I'm applying that on any spots I have. As you can see, I have quite a few and I feel like this concealer does the best job. Then I'm going to prime my eyes. I like to do this before I apply my concealer under my eyes because I find if any concealer gets onto my actual eye before I prime that my eyeshadow creases a lot sooner even if I do put primer over the top. Then for my concealer under my eyes, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, my favorite one for underneath my eyes, and then just blending that in with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. To set my concealer, I'm taking this light shade from the Australis AC Contour Contour Kit, which I absolutely love. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using my Benefit Hello Flawless pressed powder and I'm dusting that on with a really nice big Nude by Nature Kabuki brush. For my brows I'm using the same two products that I've used for a very long time. First I'm going in with my MAC Omega eyeshadow and then I am using my Benefit Gimme Brow brow gel in the light medium shade. I've been really into cancelling out all the redness and veins on my eyelids at the moment so I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre which is a nice yellowy based uh, skin tone shade and I'm just placing that all over my lid. These are the eyeshadows I'll be using today, they're all from MAC. The first one is Wedge and I am taking that on a big E40 and I'm dusting that all through my crease. Then I am taking Sable on an E55 and I'm placing Sable on the inner and outer corners of my eyes, leaving the center free. Sable is a really pretty purpley, pinky, bronze shade. It's kind of, it's one of those shades that you don't really know how to describe it, but it's really nice. Then going in with Retrospec, which is a beige with lots of glitter and shimmer, and I'm placing that on the center of my eye and blending the two shadows together. Next, I'm using my Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush to precisely blend out the edges of those eyeshadows. I felt like I lost the intensity of Sable, so I'm just going over it again with a pencil brush. And then just blending out those edges again. Then I am taking nylon on an E55 and I'm just placing that over the top of Retrospec just to give it a bit more of a shimmer. Next I am taking Embark on an E30 pencil brush and I'm placing this in the very outer corner of my lid. Just being careful not to completely cover up Sable, but um, just to make it a little bit darker and then just blending out those edges with a Zoeva brush. To make my eye even more glittery, I am taking this NYX Glitter Liner and I'm placing that right over the top of Retrospec and Nylon. It just makes the eye pop even more and it's so pretty. I can't do a Christmas look without using glitter. Then for my lower lash line, I am taking Wedge on a pencil brush and I'm placing that on the inner and outer corners of my lower lash line. And then in the center, I am using nylon on that 231 Zoeva brush. And then using nylon in my inner corners and blending that out with my finger. And then over the top of nylon on the lower lash line, I'm using that glitter liner that we just used before from NYX. And then on the brow bone, I'm using a little bit of nylon. I'm going to be doing winged liner today and these two products are currently my favorite products for winged liner. So first I'm taking my Makeup Geek 
Gel Eyeline in Immortal and my Zoeva 317 Winged Liner Brush. And I just find that this makes winged liner so much easier for me. So if you're struggling with winged liner, I highly recommend you check out these two products. For mascara, I am using my Revlon Bold Lacquer and I'm giving my top and bottom lashes a good coating. To contour, I am using this shade from my Astralis AC Contour Contour Kit, which I am loving at the moment. And I'm just placing that underneath my cheekbones as well as along my forehead to make me look like I have a smaller forehead. <laughs> I like to use this blush when I'm doing a bold lip because I feel like it doesn't compete. This is Rockatua from Benefit. It's just a lovely pinky, rosy brown shade, really nice. And then to highlight my cheekbones, I'm using the highlight shade from the AC Contour Contour Kit from Astralis. I'm going to be applying these false lashes from Born Pretty, which I actually have a 10% code for you guys. I cut mine in half and applied them on the outer corner, but I have a bit of trouble with false lashes because I think my eyes are too round for these lashes, but they would look so gorgeous on a more almond shaped eye. Then I'm just lining my waterline with a black NYX eyeliner. For lips, I'm using my Vino Lip Liner from MAC and my Rebel Lipstick from MAC. I think these two look really nice together and give a really nice dark vampy look. But that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.